Okay, so there's a bit of a fight last time. Um, that wasn't that good. So let's talk to Surad and let's try to give him a Kwama egg. You have a Kwama egg for me? These are quite tasty. Not too easy to get. I basically just stole it because there was one in a jar around the place. Okay, so what we can do now, we're supposed to ask him about the prophecies. What does an outlander have to say to an Ashilaku about of the Neverine prophecies? Uh, I fulfill the prophecies. I do not believe what you're hearing. If you think you're the Neverine, speak to Sumatra and Nibani Mesa. Um, go and speak to Zamabun. Zamabun in his yurt, and he will decide what is right. So we got to speak to Zamabun first before we speak to Sumatra. Instead of last time, we just entered straight into his yurt, and he, you know, he just attacked me. So let's go in here. Hopefully. They're friendly enough. Talk out, learner. Speak with respect and I will listen. Um, thoughtful gift. Let's give him a thoughtful gift. Do you want to offer me a gift? That's good. I like gold. This is a bribe. Okay. Uh, let's ask him about the prophecies. Why should Silmatra and Nibana Messi speak to you about these things? Who are you that you should uh, trust you? Um, let's say I've learned much of the cult. All that might be true. It's nothing to do. That's not the way you tell it. I'm sorry. I'll let you, let you bother him about this. Well, I'm going to ask you again. Why should I trust you? I'm a great hero. Do not share your opinion. So I either have to give him gold or kill him. Offer to fight a duel to the death. Okay, then I'll fight a duel to the death. You are not an unworthy opinion. I hear honouring your words and courage in your heart. I would regret killing you, but regret that you should you kill me. Very well. Uh, I can basically I can go and speak to Silmarcho now. Right, that's a good test. Oh, I want to steal something from you. These yurts are pretty cool, though. I was seeing a. Uh, Saw a documentary how they made these yurts in the Mongol yurts. Yeah, not these, not these yurts, obviously. Let's speak to some Marcher now and see if he kills me. Oh yes, Outlander, you wish to talk to me about the prophecies? Go in. I'm very curious. You think you fulfil them? You wish to be tested? No, Outlander may join the cult. If you are a clan friend, maybe. I, if you pass this right, I'll adopt you as a clan friend of the Ashlanders. Then I'll submit you to Nibani Masse. Uh, the Neverine is the last hope that Ashlanders have. I will let no Outlander steal this hope from us. Okay, let's just get this trial out of the way. Initiation right to become a clan friend. To be adopted into the tribe, you must undergo a harrowing. In harrowing, you'll be judged by spirits and ancestors to see if you're worthy. Go to the burial cabins, the Urshilaku burial cabins, and fetch me Sul Sinopal's bone biter bow. Sul Senapal was my father, and his spirit guards this bone mold longbow deep in the burial cabins. Return to me with this bow, and I will adopt you into the Ashlander tribes as a clan friend. Okay, so where are these burial cabins? South, southeast of the camp, north facing door, and a little hill halfway between us and the slopes of Red Mountain. Go north from the camp to the water, then turn east. At Rock Khan at the beach, turn and head straight south until you find the door. Spirits of our ancestors guard the cabins. They will attack and kill you if you can. Force your way past them or evade them. Get the bow and return to prove your worthiness. Okay then. So, he has told you exactly where you need to go. And I'm going to save there. And we will try to find our way through the old fashioned method. If I check my map, I'm not sure. Ah, oh, no, it has appeared magically. So. I could follow his directions, and his directions were just to leave the camp, go to the water, get, find a rock khan, and then head directly south. I mean, there's loads of rock khans here. Which one is it? I guess this would be the rock khan, and then here you head directly south.
until you find a small hill. There's a scrib. In a north facing hill. And there it is in front of us. You can imagine how hard this was if you have very limited vision. And the vision was that you probably wouldn't even see this door now and in the original war. Perhaps you'll start seeing the the door now. Okay, let's get in the uh, astral burial cabins. Now this burial cabin is is, is quite huge. Uh, there's loads of different enemies. There's a chitin spear, spear, and look at this basically a mummified body. It's all very pleasant. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and make my way to the bone biter bow directly. I'm not going to bother with all these hazards. That's a skeleton hero. In each of these in each of these areas there's basically a ton of different treasures and enemies that you can fight and you can pick up all kinds of neat stuff. But I'm not gonna bother with that, I'm gonna go straight for the bone biter bay. If I can find it, which direction it's in. Um Hang on, I'm sure I can There we are. So we go gone into this that's the entrance. What's he got on him? Ancient Nord Sword. So all, the, all these enemies are kind of on the easy side. Relax. Whoa. Ha, <laughs> spirits of your guardians. I feel like Super Mario here. attacking me. Right, so there is treasure all over the place, but we'll head straight over here. I think this is where we need to go. Yeah, that's right. So, these cabins are kind of a big deal. And we're looking for a central chamber, I think this might be it, where we have a selection of different routes we can take. And this is a classic Morrowind or Skyrim stone bridge that defies the laws of gravity. Like we could go there, there's there's another, I think there's a, there's basically a high level undead there with a load of treasure, but we won't bother with that. And you can pick up decent armor on the way. Um, you can also pick up some decent weapons. And in Morrowind, picking up decent weapons is obviously a lot more valuable than in Skyrim, because in Skyrim you can always go and craft one. And what's this? This is Kakuna Burial? We don't need that. That's a, another burial chamber. This is Juno Burial. I think this is it if we check the map. Now we need to get to... Hmm. Is it Juno Burial that we need to go to?
Yeah, this is it. Okay, so let's get in here. And he's got a copper on onyx. Uh, I can see another enemy on my radar. I I've been overweight. What should I get rid of? Why am I carrying this ancient Nord sword? I must have picked it up by mistake. At some point I might upgrade the difficulty. It's a bit of a walkover at the moment. I remember when skeletons used to be tough in Daggerfall. Not in this one, obviously. That's an iron saber. You probably think that there should be some sort of puzzle here, but I don't think there is. Leather, yellow glass bowl, apprentice probe. That's not what I want. We want the bone biter bow. And this is the wraith of Sor Sorcerer March. I'm sure it should have been a proper ghost, but we'll pick up the bow anyway and appreciate it. And that's it. That's the trial. Not too difficult at all. Um, and so there's only um, getting back that's the problem. And I'll save you the bother of retracking. Tra I'll see you back at the camp.